Well, with recent school shootings, school safety is on the minds of many people. One school district in our area wants to become an example of security. Our Allison Gens is live in Brookville, Jefferson County, with more on how heightened security changed the school. Allison? Yeah, John, Amanda, Brookville Junior Senior High School added new security measures at the beginning of the school year. Now that it's almost over, things are running smoothly, but there are still a few concerns. This is the new normal at Brookville Junior Senior High School. Each morning, students take off their bags and walk through a metal detector. They've had an entire school year to get the process down to a tight routine, 13 minutes to be exact. It's been awesome to see a whole team effort from our students to our teachers to the uh, administration to the other faculty to the community. Um, everybody's really come together to make this process work from the, the very beginning of the school day through the end. The district purchased five metal detectors and multiple security wands after community discussions in 2018. Most were in favor of the added security because of threats made against the school. A $20,000 community donation and $25,000 safe school grant made it all possible. Superintendent Dr. Robin Philman says it's just one way to help students and parents feel safe. Um, parents are concerned about sending kids to school these days. And having those things in place, we feel we can um, focus on the education and the curriculum while safety is being secured. Students and faculty believe it was the right call and now feel safer. I feel like having metal detectors in the school makes us all feel more safe in a way because they're going through our bags and we have to walk through something that pretty much makes sure we don't have anything on us. It gives me a better peace of mind, you know, that the school's safer for the, the kids and the, the staff and the students. Part of the discussions also included a partnership with the Brookville Police Department. Officers spent the year patrolling the schools and building relationships with the students. It's also nice to have a police officer around like during the day and like they switch people so you get to know them better like each and every day. Even with security measures in place, two students were arrested in March. Police say they were planning a school shooting to take place April 1st. Chief Vince Markle says his department takes each threat seriously, credible or not. As far as statistics go, you never really know what you stopped. You know, over the last two years, did, did we stop something like that from happening in our community? You, we don't know. But the one thing we do know is it didn't happen. Parents of students say they're glad there's added security, but the threat was still a concern. With any parent or grandparent, we're always concerned about the well-being of uh, our students that are here, and uh, I just hope that they continue to keep on top of all the things. And some think there's more the district can do. I listened to a government official talk, and he suggested uh, people uh, inside the building to make uh, frequent walks um, throughout the building just looking for things. Dr. Philman says the school safety plan is always changing. Safety to the Brookville uh, School District is paramount. We spend hours and hours every month really making sure that our campuses are safe and putting all the precautions in place that we possibly can. So that the new normal is not just metal detectors, but a safe and secure school. Now, as for the two students arrested, the school board is ex expected to announce their decision on whether they can return to school next week. In Brookville, I'm Allison Gens, WTAJ News.